Okay, here's where I'm sitting now. I have started to pull parts out of this panel, quite a few actually, to reuse in my control panel. So I got my VFD here that we bought. I uh, reused a couple contactors. This is going to be tricky, but basically on the output of the VFD is going to go through one of those at a time. That way we can switch to a backup pump when it fails. Uh, i got to be real careful doing that because you don't really want to switch these while the VFD is running, so I'm going to have to do something with controls. Uh, some logic to actually switch those and first shut down the VFD, switch that. A couple seconds, switch that back on. This could be another neat little circuit to build. Uh, this is the incoming power here. This will interrupt, you know, a current overload. Uh, 480 to 120 volt step down transformer for the contactors, continuous duty contactors. And then this is a 24 volt DC uh, power supply. So we cycle that out of the other control. So that's what's going to just basically go and feed the uh, pressure sensor, which just came in, just got this shipped and received this today. Zero to 100 psi, zero to 10 volts. It's going to get the feedback to the Fuji uh, VFD. So, and that's just getting ready to mount, uh, mount the system pressure gauges. I'm going to put that over here on the side and run a line to it and also screw in the transducer right there. And then that'll control the pump. On the outside, I, I put a switch here. I've got the, the little deal out here because I put some labels on it. But it'll be pump one and pump two and off. So I did. I do have that wired up towards taking 120 volts and switching these directly. But like I said, I don't want somebody with the you know the ability to switch these pumps off and on or from one to another on the output of this VFD while that's running. So I think I'm gonna make this actually switch logic state to a control board I'm going to build and have that uh, then in turn drive these two relays. Like I said, stage off the VFD, turn off the contactor, put the other one on. That's going to be pretty cool. That'll be another little microprocessor circuit board I could build. So it's come along real well. Still got that one pump running direct. Actually, I had to switch to one of the other pumps because the bearing started making noise in this one. Uh, figured it was on its way. So that's the progress so far. It's come along, and of course, electrical electronics is kind of like my main thing. What I've done longer than HVAC, so um, I just do this stuff on the fly, man. I wire this logic and in uh, power, you know, supplies and everything, controls. I just do it out of my mind, you know. I don't for something like this. I don't really need to draw it out first or anything, you know. If it's get really sophisticated digital stuff, I do, you know, like when I get into the control. But for this stuff, I can just look at it and know what it's doing. It's just, it's, that's my aptitude for electronics. So. It's come along pretty good. Probably make some pretty decent headway. Might even get it up and running before the weekend. Okay. End of another day. This is what we've got done so far. Still got the motor just running direct, bypassing the VFD. Control power is on, up on the VFD, that way I can start programming it. Uh, got the 120 volt transformer working, 24 volt DC power supply is working. The 120 volt is pulling in the uh, contactor. So this is working, if it overcurrents, it'll, it'll open up the breaker for the motor. And then uh, basically I just need to finish wiring it. I gotta get another T for the other pressure transducer. Uh, the new one is just hooked up. Goes in right through here. Ties in, goes over to the BFD. The signal right now is just pegged out. I gotta remember how to program this. We have another one like this. I've gone through it and see the book's that thick. But you just gotta set it up for inverse. That way, uh, it'll it uh, it's gonna maintain you know a certain pressure. And then uh, the higher the input the more it's going to slow down the motor. If I just leave it regular, then it's going to, uh, based on the input, it's how fast it wants to run motor. So it'll see the max signal and just want to go as fast as it can. So that's not the way you got to run it. So I need to set it for inverse. And 
I need to make my own control. I've decided to make my own control. This is, I've disconnected this switch out here, which is made in up one and up two now. We're off. It's gonna go just five volt logic go into a microprocessor control now that I'm gonna build. Put on a little circuit board up here. And basically it's gonna run the command. It's gonna have some logic. Basically, when you call for a pump, you're just going to flip that on, and it's going to uh, first pull in the contactor for whichever pump, one or two, and then it's going to give the command for this to start. And then if you flip this to off, it'll it'll tell the VFD to stop, and then it'll open that contactor. Actually, you can just leave that contactor in. It'll leave. Um, I'll probably just only switch contactors when it's switching motors. So yeah, it'll sneak, it'll stop the VFD. And then if you start it again, it'll just ramp up the VFD. If you switch motors though, like go from uh, one to two, what I want it to do is the logic will first give the command to stop on the uh, VFD, then open up the contactor for that motor, and then energize the contactor for number two, in this case, and then give the command for the VFD to start back up. That way, somebody, I can have regular maintenance guys come in here after hours or whatever if one pump fails or is noisy, and I'll be able to just go, bam, switch it to the other one. It's not like it's going to be slamming the contactors open and shut on the output of that VFD. It'll do it with, this will control the logic, and my controller will control switching the, the contactor while it first stops the VFD. So I went to a radio shack. And got, you know, a bunch of stuff. I'll probably donate one of my microcontrollers that I have in stock at home. Put it on there. Molex connectors. Standoffs. A bunch of some LEDs that I'll put on the front. I'll take out those high voltage light lamps and put in LEDs. Label them. Then I got a bunch of these relays. These are rated at an amp at 120 volts and a 5 volt coil, so I'm going to run them off my microcontroller and then uh, that'll switch the 120 volts that goes to those two contactors over here so that'll all be on my controller and I'll probably have it uh, um, the low pressure transducer here I'll hook up to my uh, microprocessor as well and that way it can do like a, if there's if the build system water the water's turned off to the building you know for any reason all the water it'll uh, the pressure will drop below a threshold my microprocessor will sense that and shut down the system that way it won't be running a pump with uh, no water <laughs> to the building so it'll be cool this is gonna be a really cool project so stay tuned for some more